Hello, Queen's Hill, and welcome to today's live drawing lesson. Today, we're going to be doing a perspective drawing activity. Um, I've just been doing some little mock ups of what we might be doing. Here's an example of some of the work we're going to be working on. We're going to be looking at vanishing points and horizon line. We've also got a slightly activity that's going to be more suitable for key stage one, and we'll go through that in just a minute with you. In terms of equipment, you're going to need yourself a piece of paper, or you might be doing this in your school sketchbook. Either is absolutely fine. A really important thing to mention today, today is not about getting it right or wrong. It's about practicing a skill here. Um, I'm doing this. It's a one take. So I'm going to get some things wrong here today as well. But that's just how it works when we're doing drawing with um with this type of equipment you're going to need a ruler as well today this one's a 30 centimeter one which most of you have in class if you don't have that out can you get that out of your bags now because you're going to need that um and i'm just using a normal pencil which again make sure it's quite sharp um because that means we get a nice clean edge when we are drawing for those of you down in key stage one um make sure when you're using your ruler without drawing today you're using it properly and that means holding on to it really tightly um, otherwise you'll get squiggly lines which really won't work today the first thing you're going to need to do on your blank piece of paper with your ruler let's get my paper straight is to draw one line right along the middle it really is that simple this is what we're going to be calling today is our horizon line all that really means is anything below it will be anything below the eye level of land and anything above will be above the eye level of what we can see beyond the land. So that might be sky or sea or whatever we're going to be drawing today. So we're always going to come back to this line and it's really important in all perspective drawing is your horizon line. We're then going to need to produce two things which we call vanishing points. What this means is two points where all of our drawing will come back to. I'm going to plot one with an X here and one with an X there. You can do the same on your work. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this line down and meet somewhere in the middle of my page, or about here roughly. Don't worry if it's not exact, um, but these are basically the guidelines that help us with our drawing. So I've got one that you can hopefully just see coming down there, and we'll do another one on this side. Later on, I'll be going over mine in pen as well, so that you'll be able to see the markings more clearly. And this makes it a bit darker for those who are having trouble seeing those. Okay, then we're gonna do pretty much the same. So we're sort of making uh, a shape here on the upper side. I'm not gonna go quite as high with my vanishing point, we're going to go about here. Now the activity I'm starting to do here is specifically for children in key stage one. Um, but key stage two, bear with me because you're gonna be using some of these perspective skills in your drawing. So for key stage one, we're just joining up these points that we've made. Um, and we're going to join that line there. Now what we're going to do for key stage one pupils is we are going to do one line down here. And we're going to do one line uh, about here. doesn't matter exactly where. Let's do about here. That's fine. And then we're going to join these points in the middle together roughly. Now, this bit here that we're working with is the focus bit for your artwork today. This is going to be your skyscraper that you're creating. And Key Stage 2, in a minute, we're going to start to look at making a road of skyscrapers. But Key Stage 1, bear with me here as we just do our main skyscraper. For Key Stage 1 pupils, if you want, you can skip forwards of this section because uh, you're going to come back with a fresh piece of paper to crack on with the Key Stage 1 one as well. Key Stage 2 one, sorry. So now we're going to add some windows in there. We're going to start by coming to our vanishing point every single time. And we're going to do some guidelines for windows. So all we do, we go to the vanishing point and we go across. We move and pivot, keeping our ruler on this vanishing point every time we go along again. Ruler on vanishing point again. And ruler on vanishing point again. Off we go. Um, and we'll do that just once more. Ruler on vanishing point one. Ruler on vanishing point two. Then I'm going to come along and I'm going to just do some quick lines across, which are going to be, you'll see in a second, starting to construct the windows for my skyscraper. You can be creative, make these any shape you want. Squares are often easy when we're doing perspective drawings. That doesn't mean you can't try alternatives as well. Let's put those into place really quickly. So you can get the sense of what I'm trying to achieve here. On the bottom here, we're just going to go one line down one line down and then to meet again for the door we go to our vanishing point that's really important and we come across there um, and then we add a bit of detail here and here 
Okay, so hopefully you're getting the basic shapes here. The crucial thing here is these vanishing points. Your ruler always pivots back to this vanishing point whenever you're going across. And you'll see every single line we've drawn corresponds with our vanishing point there. So um, you might on your building want to add a bit of a rooftop section. So to, section, so to do that, again, we can do a bit of an extension, so to speak. Come back to your vanishing point and pull it back up there. This might be the shop sign or the building sign. So we'll do that there quickly, and I'll just repeat that. We'll leave it on that side there. So that's like a little sign on the top to say what this building is, perhaps. Now, um, I'm going to leave this side of the building blank. You can focus on that in just a second. But let's look at adding in some detail on this side first of all. So on this side, um, what we're going to be doing is with our pen, you can use your ruler for this as well. I'm going to now go over the markings where I want it to be highlighted. So for the windows, I don't want all of those grid lines in place, just some of them. So I'm going over with my pen. My pen. You might not need to do this, but I'm just doing it here to um, make it easy for you to see what I am doing. Now, key stage two pupils, it's really important um, that you learn how to do this building drawing because in a minute, we're gonna continue from this drawing and we're going to start to add multiple buildings and a sidewalk in our artwork as well. Okay, let's bring those along there with those edges. Hopefully, you can now see the windows taking shape. Um, now, here we go. Do the last lines on the top there just to add the detail. Now, with your colouring in pencil, you might want to add some shading techniques. I'm going to actually use a brown here. Now, I'm not going to shade the whole window, but I'm just going to shade the top corner. I'm holding my pencil on its side, not directly, and that gives me the full length of the pencil here to help with my shading. And I just press really lightly, push away, and I'm just doing a very light shade like that. Uh, you know, I'm not colouring the whole thing. I'm just adding a bit of detail. Just like that. You can start to see that making shape. And that's really to show where the sun might be shining in our picture. On the bottom, I might just add some colouring, some shading just down the bottom. I'm pressing hard at the bottom here. And as I work up, just getting lighter and lighter and lighter as I go along to build the door frame. Hardly even touching the paper here. And just go a bit dark on this side edge here. Um, to show where the light might be coming from as well. Okay, let's bring that corner through there. And bring that point there. Okay, we're nearly there. Bring this side along and down here. So in key stage one and key stage two, have a go first of all at adding some tonal quality to your drawing, just like I'm doing. I'm gonna do some dark lines on the side here and shade those out for doors. Um, now, let's focus on the other half of the building now before we then look at adding some more structures in. So on this side, we can add a few more windows if we want. But this time, we're going to go to this vanishing point on this side of the building. So we get our pencil again. We join up and quite simply add another. I'm just going to add another row of windows quickly there. Uh, and then I'm going to add, instead of windows, I'm going to add a block window just here, which is basically a bigger shape. And you'll see that taking shape in just a minute. Let's do this, and this will have some grid lines going down. This might be ventilation for the building, air conditioning, any of those items. Go. Okay. And then here we're going to build up our windows just like this. The great thing, uh, Queen Taylor, about doing this is you can just actually let your imagination go wild, really. Like, there's no... I'm not coming at, at this being that, oh, I need to put this detail here. It's really however you want your building to start to take shape. Now, in a minute, key stage one, I'm going to say you probably want to pause your drawing at one building. But if you want to be optimistic, you can actually carry on with this and do uh, another building. In key stage two, definitely stay with us. We're going to add another building onto our row. So let's add those bits in there. Add that there. There we 
go. Another thing worth mentioning is when you're doing these vanishing points and this horizon line, this can work for anything. It might not be buildings. It might be uh, a beach. It might could be so many other things, but the same principles apply throughout. Let's add some blue on this bit here. Pressing hard in the corner, remember again, for tonal quality and blending out. Pressing hard and blending out. And notice, like, I'm not colouring in the whole shape. I'm just adding a bit of colour, a bit of what we might call a highlight or a low light just to add a bit of tonality. Now, we've got our building. Let's add another building to go alongside it in this space here. And guess what? We come back to those vanishing points yet again. We're also going to add a sidewalk in just a minute. So how do we add this other building? So this other building is going to use the vanishing point, but this building is going to be slightly, uh, go slightly taller than this, this point here. So I'm going to come up here. And I'm going to go about, yeah, about here. Yep. So you see I've gone slightly higher there. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to, where this building ends, I'm going to come a bit further towards this vanishing point. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to place my guideline, my grid line, straight down uh, about there. Now, this is now the shape of this new building. Um, and this is a really important bit. Where these two lines meet, which is just here, this needs to then join up, bizarrely enough, with the vanishing point on the other side of the paper here, because this is going to be the, the rear side of the building that we'll also be able to see just a little bit of. So other vanishing point onto the top point of those two lines and bring it down. OK, now this area, which I'm now going to highlight with my black pen to make it really clear, is the side facade of the building. Let's draw that in, in there. in there um whilst we're doing this video as well i really hope i have got some staff as well who are joining in with this because i like we did i would love to see um both the efforts of pupils and staff in this video today now what i've now produced is now this is the side of the other building that we're going to be looking at in just a minute now here actually that see look i've made an error here that line actually needs to come in there go back to our vanishing point and I'll explain that in a bit more detail in just a minute. Okay, so this is that side. Now to show that this is the side of the building, that's where I'm gonna use my cross hatching techniques. But I'm not gonna cross hatch, I'm going to single hatch. And with that, it really is this simple, one pen or pencil, and all I do is I go along and I make simple marking lines. They're not that neat, but you'll see the overall effect will make it show that this side of the building has shadow on it. OK, and we've already talked about the light, where it's coming from. So shadow on this side of the building is a really important feature to include. Otherwise, it makes it hard to identify in your drawing where the dark and the light areas appear from. So add that in just there. OK, we're doing so well. Um, let's now add some more detail into this building. The, the, the vanishing lines are already there. All we need to do is bring our ruler in and decide a point where the building will end. I'm going to decide there. And then we need to draw in the sides of that building and the other side. And bring those forwards like that. Now, as I said before, we're now going to focus on windows for this building as well. We've already got one line there. We can use it as a benchmark. And I'm going to keep on. And again, I'm going back to this vanishing point because remember, all lines going across the page must start from the vanishing point because otherwise it will send the perspective of the drawing out. OK, windows done quickly. Let's add some detail on those. I'll do some quick lines going across. And remember, I'm just doing all the lines and then I'll go over in the detail in, um, in pen. And this building is actually going to be covered in glass windows, as you can see, uh, which I've done here. So I'm going to go over those. And then in a minute, I'm going to uh, explain how we can cover those in as well. I've left a little space here, you'll notice, which is where the front door or the entry point might be for this building. Um, let's add that line in there. And as I say, you know, just be creative. Um, add the detail that you want, the things that interest you, okay? Um, 
doesn't have to be at all the same as what I'm doing. Really, I believe in when I say I'm sitting here and just having quite a lot of fun deciding where I want to put things, put some door handles on there, I think, you know, really play around. There's no right or wrong answer, and that's the joy. Now I'm going to pick up my blue um, pencil, <coughs> excuse me, and I'm just going to shade very lightly, darker in the corner and coming out across this whole building, just a light blue. Can you see that hopefully on your, yeah, you can see that. I know it's not easy on the visualizers, but bringing that across and doing a shading of blue, adding that detail in there. Now, where I've got the side of the building, I'm going to accentuate that with a dark color and I'm going to use my dark brown here. And I'm going to go over that crosshatch just to make it really clear. And notice that I'm actually pressing really quite hard in this point because this is our shadow part of the building. Um, but that goes there. OK, now. I'm aware that we are now ticking into time here, but I'm having so much fun. We are going to wrap up in a minute. But if you want to stay with me, please do so, because I'm going to add my final building on the other side to finish off this perspective drawing. If you think for you and your class, do you know what? Two buildings is success. I'll take that. That's absolutely brilliant. But if you want to stay with me on this journey, stick with us and let's have a go at doing building number three. Now, for this building, uh, what we're going to do, let's add the grid lines in for this one really quickly. Very similar. We're going to do a building that's slightly taller than this one as well, like we've just done. Actually, going to be quite a bit taller. So let's get our pencil out. We go to our vanishing line. We go slightly higher than this top point of the building and we push out. There we go, just like that. It's going to be a tall one. Then what we need to do is our line for the, the we need to give a bit of a space between this building and the other one. I've given three quarters of a centimetre. Let's go for a centimetre there. There we go. And I'm going to drop that line straight down there. That's not quite straight. So let's try that again. There we go. Slightly better. Now the top here, remember, we need to go back to this other vanishing point because otherwise the building won't look in perspective. So there's the top roof of this new building. And again, on the bottom point where the two vanishing lines meet, we need to pull it back up there. OK, so now let's before we do anything out, let's get that cross hatch in, because this is some of the trickiest parts of getting the new side of the building in. So I'm going to use my black pen. Uh, you might not need to. I'm just doing that so you can really clearly see those entry and exit points of this building. There we go. And again, with our pen, starting at the top, and let's do a very quick cross hatch. And again, you don't need to use a pen. Sorry, a single hatch, not a cross hatch. You don't need to use a pen for this. You could use a pencil, whatever's to hand. I'm just using what's there. And look, these aren't neat lines. Let's be honest about it. Some of them are in, some of them are out. But it's just getting the general effect across. There we go. Nearly there. Last few bits. Perfect. OK, so now let's go back to our brown pencil pen. Like we've done here, we're going to press hard. We want hard colour. We want a, a rich brown coming through. So again, look, if I use the front point like this, it's just going to take me ages. I'm just using the side of my pencil to basically get more colouring out of my pencil crayon quickly and effectively. Turn the paper, just get that side bit there, and then we've got our side of the building. OK, there we go. Side of the building done. You can see this building is slightly taller than that one, which is exactly what we want to achieve. Now let's add the sides to it. This is going to be not quite as wide a building as this one. So with my ruler, I'm going to just do a ruler's width for this one. Chop it down there. There we go. Get out your pen if you have one and you want to and just mark out the outline then of the building. You'll notice that I've gone slightly over, but that's OK. We can correct that at a later stage. Now for this one. Um, oh, just need to finish off. I've noticed I've left my sign blank there. And again, this is where you can have great fun. So I'm jumping around, I know, but you can add whatever name you wanted on there on your shop sign, you know, really be creative. Now this building, back to it. We're going to add lines going just straight down on this one with one line coming across. So I'm going to get my pencil and I'm going to stop all the lines. Uh, let's go back to my vanishing point at about there. OK. And pen. 
I'm going to I'm going to go straight on to penheads because I'm conscious of time for all of you guys. Bring that down. Okay, I'm going to go on the bottom here. Bottom, sorry. Uh, add some more lines coming across this way. Okay, I'm, I'm cheating a bit here. You can probably see I'm not doing my grid lines only because I want to get the lines in quickly so we can focus on getting these final touch-up bits done. Door, handles, and just add it how you want. There we go. Okay, sort of structure now. Let's get a colour. I haven't used this colour yet, so I'm going to use that. Now, this time, bottom, press hard. As we go up, fade it in. Press hard. It in. Okay. You'll notice it's not perfect. You know, we're not going for perfection here. We're just trying to add the sense on this side. This side's going to be quite pressing further down. And that's going to come in. Okay. I think, you know, Queen's Hill, we're going to stop there because I could just keep on going. I could add some more details with the window frames and window ledges. I could add pics of people's inside these. I could then start to think to add a sidewalk. And when we're adding a sidewalk, all we really need to do is go back to our vanishing lines and add those sidewalks in. And when you do those, just like that, um, add our sidewalk lines in. I'm using the word sidewalk. I'm completely wet and I should actually be using um, the footpath. I'm using an Americanized English for that. So apologies, but you get the sense there of what you can achieve. So the outcomes are limitless, really. So we're going to leave it there. Well done for sticking with me for such a long time. I hope you've enjoyed today's activity. We'll be doing another live drawing lesson, hopefully with you next week, where we're going to focus on a new skill every week of a different element of our art curriculum. Have a great rest of the Friday, Queen's Hill. Enjoy and well done for sticking with us. Take care.